Tapered main lines are becoming more and more popular because more and more venues are banning the use of shock leaders. Now the idea of a shock leader is that you have heavy braking strain line for the initial cast and then it goes down to a much thinner diameter, usually weaker line, so that you can get more distances but you don't want to break off on the initial cast. Fisheries don't really like that in places because the knot could fail and then you've got, I don't know, several metres of a thick heavy duty line then sailing off into the lake with your rig attached and everything. So it's not ideal. You can understand why some fisheries are banning them. But that's where the tapered main line comes into effect because there's no knots involved. You just put it straight onto your spool and you've then got a heavy duty line for the initial cast. It tapers smoothly, so there's no knot to either worry about either, down to say a, a 12 mil, a 12 pound mono or a 15 pound mono, something like that. And that is where Gardner have now stepped into the game of tapered lines with their GTHD tapered mono. So if you were a fan of the GTHD before, which been out for a very long time, but you had to use tapered lines or shock leaders elsewhere and you couldn't use this because they didn't have a tapered version, now your, your prayers have been answered basically because the GTHD is now available in tapers, whether you've got 15 pound or the 12 pound versions. Now I spooled up one of my reels this morning with the 12 pound version, which goes from a 0.5, which is 35 pound braking strain. Both the 15 pound and the 12 pound versions are the same braking strain on the actual shock leaderish part of it, or before it tapers down. And then this tails down to 0.3, and the 15 pound tails down to 0.33. So because this is 0.3, I did have a look at the spool that I was spooling up with, and I think it was a 0.35 would take about 300 meters of line. So because this is slightly smaller diameter, I was aware that it wouldn't quite fill up to the full lip, but as you can see from some of the shots it's it's negligible the amount of uh, space that's still left on the spool so 300 meters is pretty much your standard for most reels now but do take a look at your spool see what the capacity is and whether you're gonna have to sort of counteract with a little bit of backing for uh, fitting this on and making sure it's nice and flush because the whole idea of using a tapered line is because you're trying to get those extra yards so if you've got a massive big pit and you put just 300 meters of line on you've still got a lip on your spool that's going to hinder your uh, distance on your cast but it filled up pretty nicely I'm actually on my syndicate today where I was hoping to do a bit of testing but right now I can't because there's seven other members on here and I don't think they'd appreciate me casting over their line but uh, I'm hoping to get out again this week and show you that so if I have then you'll see that now well, it's a couple of days later and I'm back down the lake and I've got this half of the lake to myself. So no anglers to annoy today, thankfully. And I've got my emblem that you've already seen that I've spooled up. And I've got a Bezier X45, three and a quarter pound tesker of these are. So they're not really, really beefy, 13 foot, three and a half, something like that. They're my go-to 12 foot rods if we're going to a bigger venue. And I'm actually going straight through to a little bit of leadless leader, probably a foot and a half of that, three and a half ounce lead with a rig. So this is a real world representation of how I'd fish so if you're going for ultra distance maybe you wouldn't even have a leader you just go straight through to a distance layer like a four ounce beefier rods and things and uh, really whittle things down but this is how I'd normally fish so it's an accurate representation of how I'd cast so of course I've got this spooled up as high as I can I've already wet the line I've done a few casts just to bed the line in properly since I've spooled it up got the lead around by the spigot and we'll see how this actually casts now normally when you use the shock leader you'd hear that not fly through the rings but as you'll tell straight away this doesn't because it's so smooth through. And as you can see, that just absolutely whizzed out. As soon as it went down to the 12 pound line, so little resistance, so as long as you've got your technique right. Oh no out and out distance caster, but that's probably the furthest of a cast on this lake with a setup on as well. So it's quite impressive. I'll have a few more casts around just to uh, have a bit of fun while I can. It's not often you get a lake to yourself like this where you can just have a bit of practicing with your casting. But as you could tell from the sound alone, you could hear there was no sort of, you normally get that whoosh, and look at a knot going through the eyes. That's already gonna take a few yards off because of the resistance. Doesn't matter how fine you make that knot, it's still gonna make a difference on how far it actually goes. And because it tapers so smoothly, you don't even notice the transition. It uh, really is nice to use taper. This is actually the first time I've ever used a tapered mainline. So first impressions of it, very simple to use. I haven't got to worry about any knots giving way. Let's have another go, because I can. See if we can get any further. Nice. So here we go. Back to me a couple of days ago, when it was actually a lot warmer. 
So back to today's session, and as you can see, I've got the 12 pound and the 15 pound with me. Now I've mentioned the different diameters, but it's worth talking about the actual way that it tapers down. Now you start off with eight meters of the 0.5, which is the 35 pound braking strain. So eight meters of that, and then you've got six meters where it tapers from that 0.5 down to your 0.3 or your 0.33, depending on what thickness you've gone. So you've got eight meters of shock leader or the, the heavy duty stuff, six meters of it going down from the thicker to your smaller diameter and then you've got all of your smaller diameter line until it gets to the other end because you've got 272 meters of the 12 pound line on this and then at the other end it tapers back up to another section of the thicker line so this is double-ended taper line so if you've used one end loads and you're getting to the end of the little bit of uh, your um, thicker section or you just want to refresh your spool you don't have to buy another one you can just take it off onto another spool and then load it back on the other way around and you're good to go so two uses out of per spool is very good uh, to know as well now the actual usage of the line or how it looks is a low vis green with minimal stretch so it's nice and responsive when you're feeling the lead down if you're fishing at greater distances of course you're going to lose some sensitivity in that because you've got stretch in your line but it is low stretch so that's quite nice to know and tying knots i tied on a leader onto the rod earlier on well like my uh, fluorocarbon leader down to my rig tied the knot absolutely perfectly fine now i used a blood knot that's just the knot i've always gone to but it does recommend using a palomar or maybe a loop to loop knot it should be perfectly strong enough just so you can uh, attach that to your main line so it's a low vis green as i said but it's still nice and supple if i just roll some of this off i'm gonna have to do quite a bit because obviously it's going to taper down from the thicker section keep going I can still feel it's thick I can feel it in my hand it's still the thick line and I should start to notice it tapering down which I believe it's starting to now yeah I can feel it in my hand that it's getting uh, thinner in my hand and there we go we're down to the 12 pound so this is the 12 pound mono that I've got with me today this is a nice and thin diameter really supple so it should sink to the lake bed nicely and hug any contours that it needs to. So if you're still fishing slightly slack lines, you can use that. Because although this is a aiding your distance with casting, you can still use it anywhere you go. But just bear in mind that the end bit of your line is going to be 35 pound breaking strain. So it's quite a nice supple material to use, easy to tie knots. So it does everything you need it to. Like I said, with the fact that you can use it both ways. So once you've used it for several times and you've lost all your tapered section, flip it around and go again. So that's something to uh, be aware of, that you've got the 12 pound, 15, and it's both in the low vis green. So if you like the GTHD, as I said before, but you just wanted to get a bit more distance on your cast, then now you can use the GTHD tapered. I hope that answered, well, not that you asked any questions, but we've just given this to you straight away. I hope that's enlightened you a bit more about another option on the market for a tapered mainline. So uh, do go over to the Gardener website if you want some more information on this and some of their other lines and things. And also make sure that you're subscribed to us, hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads and follow us on all social media platforms for regular updates, often competitions and loads, loads more. So there should be some videos popping up somewhere around me with some other videos for you to go and watch. So please do go and enjoy those. But that's it from me for now. Just got to the end of that spool, perfect timing. So that's me done and I'm off.